All right, my fellow warriors, you've seen the destruction test of the Mora, you've seen the destruction test of the SE clone, but now it's time to see what a real man's knife is all about. The K-Bar Becker BK2. Did you want uh, honey in your tea? Oh, this is penetrating. Look at those chips of wood. It's coming out. Still perfect. Let's do some more tests. Ah! I'm feeling the, I'm feeling the flow, people. This, <laughs> this BK2 is a beast, and it makes me feel like a man. I, and that is what I love about this blade. It's just such a thick piece of steel. All right, people, let's do some real testing and cut some breaks. Wait, Martin, wait. Before you do that, can you please show us how uh, sharp this knife still is? Because you've done some testing with it, of course, and... Uh, it's not gonna be... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm not high, by the way, people. Whoa. No problem people, this this knife is a beast, like I said. Right, this is a wooden clock. We are in the Netherlands, so fitting. Guys, I'm in love with this knife. <sighs> All right, people, this was the beast, the Becker Big 2. We did some really, really stressing tests with it. You should never do this with a knife, but um, I wanted to show you guys how much of a beast this knife actually is. Can it still feather stick? Let's try it. I'm pretty surprised that it still manages to make some okay feather sticks. Of course, it, the cutting is a bit rough, but I'm getting these feathers, and that is really important for a survival blade, because this will help you make fire. So we're still able to make some very decent uh, looking feather sticks. Tomorrow, people, I will do some bushcraft chores with this knife, because of course this knife is a beast, but it's not made for destruction. So I will do some regular survival tests. Let's cut some paper. All right, it's not able to cut paper anymore. Not surprising, mm -hmm. see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, muscled hammer guy. Get your ass over here, man. <laughs> No fear, muscles get hammer guys here. Alright people, as you might have noticed, I've bought the micarta skills and I think it makes the BK2 look a lot better. It feels a lot better in the hand. These skills are massive, so they're even more sturdy than the standard skills. Yo Mickey! Amazing! Good morning! My friend! Alright, the Becker BK2. I modified it to be a bit more bushcrafty. Yeah. And today what I want to do is I want to do some bushcraft chores like um, making a fire, batoning, stuff that this knife is actually made for. Yeah. And uh, yeah, cook, cook some stew. So let's do this. Am I gonna eat that stew? We are gonna eat that stew. Yes. Let's make a baton. There we have it. Easy baton. 
Stew cooked. The stew is really, it's amazing. Mm. Um, oh, people, the Becker Beaker 2, the first day, we did some stress testing with it. Of course, you would never use a knife like that, but. Uh, oh. But we can have fun as well. We can yeah, you fun. can have fun as well. And the Becker Beaker 2, look, some knives are made for bushcraft, some knives are made for survival. Yeah. And some knives are just made to be beasts. It is not for, for hikers, it is not lightweight, it is very heavy. It doesn't have the badge as retention because no. it's 1095. But um, for the price you do get an amazing piece of steel yeah. that looks just, it just looks awesome. I like the 1095 Crovan from uh, K-Bar better than, that, uh, than the 1095 from Essie. Let's see how sharp it still is. It can still cut paper. It's a little bit more hairy though than yeah. it was in the beginning. Yeah, on the edge I can see quite some reflections, but it is very easy to, to strop and sharpen. So you can restore the edge very quickly. Can I just say that I love the modification that you did to this knife? Because yeah. normally it has kind of a military looking yeah. look or whatever, and now I it actually looks like, it looks like a, a classic yeah. good Porsche knife or whatever. I, I just wanted to make it a little bit more bushcrafty, so I bought these Micarta skills from knifesandtools.com. Uh, I bought the knife itself all, uh, from knifesandtools.com also. The link will be in the description. Yeah, link will be in the description. It's not for uh, for hikers, it's maybe not for bushcrafters, for finer tools, but this is just an excellent batoner, abs excellent um, chopper. Yeah. It's just a beast. This is a... Uh, yeah, this is just a man's too. This is a crowbar with an edge. Can I recommend this knife? Yes, I can recommend. I love it. I love it, love it, love, love it, love it. Kaber Becker Beaker 2. Love it, love it, love, love it. Kaber Becker Beaker 2. Question time. Can you give a reason to not use a Falkneven? Maybe a price issue, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Can you give an, uh, I can give a reason. Yeah. I certainly agree on the price issue. I would say an F1 is still good in the price. The F1D, amazing, uh, amazing yeah. value. But um, yeah, of course, the Pro Series, it, I, I love the Pro Series, brilliant steels, brilliant everything, yep. but yeah, a little too expensive, and I would say, yeah. Your Mark Gardner asks, yo, my wood warriors, I should have my A1 Pro in a few days. How did you cut your hand, Mickey? <laughs> yeah, as a lot of you know, I've got a big, big scar here, and I actually cut my hand with, the, with an A1, with a Falcon Neven A1, and that's also uh, a reason not to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm... I was chopping away and it started to rain and I was I was in a rush and then I slipped and then I just chopped in my hand. Simple the funny song. the funny thing is, I was on the toilet taking a poo on the loo. Yeah, uh, it was it was crazy. Yeah. Next question. Sab, what camera do you guys use, <laughs> especially for the slow motion stuff? Great work. We use uh, a Canon 700D, and for the slow motion stuff, we use a Sony RX100 Mark IV. Yeah. Kind of which, I, which I damaged in the, few, in the first uh, week with uh -huh. a fire steel. Uh, people, I think this was the end of the video. Very, uh, very surprised with this knife. Love this knife, absolute beast. That was my text. Oh, sorry. I like this knife. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>
please uh, subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, let's try to get to a thousand thumbs up. Should we? Got a nice little pocket in here. Oh, look, look. look, I always keep my most prized possession uh, <laughs> uh, Pokemon card, my Magic Carp. <laughs> and there, so yeah, really handy if you need a Magic Carp, 24/7.